Welcome everyone. This week, a bit of a resolution to what I thought was some faulty components last week. It actually turns out that they weren't faulty, just some things that were ordered weren't as I expected. And that actually turned out to be the microcontrollers I'd ordered uh, to be supplied with the bootloader already loaded, and they actually weren't. I ordered two sets of microcontrollers from two different suppliers, both with the bootloader loaded, and believe it or not, both of them weren't. So this week we're going to take a look at loading the Arduino bootloader onto the microcontrollers. So let's take a look at it now. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Arduino as an in-system programmer and this is the way we actually wire it up. So let's get that wired up now. And on the breadboard we've basically got a minimal Arduino, so basically just the crystal, the capacitors and the wiring for the reset and of course the power and zero volt wiring. and we'll be powering the breadboard off the actual Arduino itself so we don't need another power supply for that. That's quite okay. Okay, so once it's all wired up, it's time to take a look at the software side of things. So let's take a look at that now. Okay, so basically just open the Arduino IDE and we want to go to examples, Arduino ISP. Whoops. Just open up that sketch. and we need to just make sure we've got the board selected and uh, port selected and we want to compile and upload that sketch. Okay, so once that sketch is uploaded to the Adreno, then we want to come into tools, go to programmer, and we want to select the Arduino as ISP. And also, if you want to burn the UNO bootloader, then make sure that uh, the UNO is selected as the board. And basically just go down and click burn bootloader. So when you click burn bootloader, you should get a bit of action with the LEDs as it actually burns the bootloader and once it's finished, it'll just come up and said that it's done. So that's a bit of an anti-climax. It certainly says it's done and um, there's no reason to doubt it. However, what I wanted to do then was just uh, validate that that is actually the case. So what I thought I'd do is just hook up a, a USB to serial uh, interface um, to the new minimal Arduino with bootloader installed. And just let's try, I don't know, running the blink sketch. So let's take a look at how we wire up the USB interface now. Okay, so not really that much to change. Just put the interface in, wire the power from the USB module, 
and transmit and receive and don't forget the reset through a capacitor to pin one and that's about it we've got an arduino then that we can program using the usb port okay so once we've got all that wired up let's plug in the usb port and just open up the blink sketch make sure you've got the uh, uno selected as the board type and make sure you've got the right com port selected for that usb interface and then just download the sketch and that's pretty much that So I'd bought two sets of microcontrollers off two different suppliers and both sets were ordered, loaded with the actual bootloader and I guess that's why I didn't suspect that they didn't have the bootloader installed. Couldn't believe that two different sets from two different suppliers uh, would be the same. But anyway, that was the issue so then I just wanted to go through and burn the bootloader to all of them and just do a test of them. So first of all, I put a ZIF socket in uh, just to make life a little bit easier and then just ran through burning them all with the bootloader and then loading the Blink sketch onto them and ended up putting a uh, LED on there just to make life a little bit easier rather than have to measure to make sure that it worked. And strangely enough, I did actually find one that was no good so it got dispatched to the bin and all the rest are ready to go. So all good. So there you go, I've got a heap of microcontrollers all loaded with the bootloader ready to use. So um, onward and upward with the projects. I'll see you next time. Cheers. If you like what I'm doing, then please do like the video. If you'd like to see more, then please subscribe. And don't forget to hit the chime so you get notified when I post something new. And I'll put a couple of links here to some other videos you can look at.